Good afternoon everybody, welcome to Craft Stash Live. It is Friday the something of June because I've completely lost track of where we are even in the year. I'm surprised I got the month right. Um, but we have got the fantastic Sizzix and the equally fantastic Pete Hughes with us today demonstrating. We've got lovely chapter three products. We are looking at Christmas. Now I'm going to whisper that for now, just build you up gently, but the whole craft industry at this time of year does talk about Christmas, doesn't it? And it's our turn now. We had the summer sale last week. I did tell you, I did warn you during that live that we were going to be building up to Christmas and it's here now in full swing. Have you started? Have you got your Christmas cards prepared, planned? Have you even started purchasing your products to make them yet? Well, I think you need to start now because this show has amazing deals for you. We've got offers on Sizzix across the entire Sizzix range uh, and I'll talk you through many of those as we go through the show. We are also giving away a fantastic Sizzix Christmas bundle to two of you live during this hour and then another one I'm going to guide you for how you can have another option. So if you're maybe watching this back, I don't know, maybe Friday evening over the weekend, perhaps you've got until Friday next week to enter to win the third prize we just wanted to make sure that if you weren't able to catch us live you still had a chance at that giveaway so that's over 130 pounds worth of product we're giving away today and next Friday so make sure all you need to do is comment okay you can say hello how are you say hello to the lovely Pete how much do you love Sizzix whatever it may be uh, you know I'm a sucker for knowing what the weather's like so let me know what the weather's like for you because I've got horrible weather here today uh, thunderstorms and the rest of it but apparently Pete and Josh have got quite nice weather so I'm a bit jealous there so let me know where you are in the world and what your weather's like uh, what we'll do first of all before I run through any offers is just quickly go and say hello to Pete so just to prove he is here with me so so just a little hands up, thumbs up wave. Hi, Pete, how are you? All good, thank you. Fantastic. Um, what? So we're looking at chapter three today. Yes, I'm, I'm so excited about this. Um, beautiful products. We've got them all on the website. Can you just give us a quick overview of what you're going to be doing before I run through the offers? Sure, absolutely. Well, usually, I mean, previously we've done a lot with Tim Holtz dies uh, and a lot of mixed media techniques as well as a technique going on. But Sizzix are fresh look and feel and it's one of the reasons why it keeps us where we are as a brand. Mm -hmm. Today there's going to be lots of white space. Ooh. There's going to be, we're, it's, they're just gorgeous, gorgeous. Stuff. But as always, I believe there's something there for everybody. And in my experience, you know, you were saying about have people got going with their card making. Usually they start Boxing Day yes. for the year after. So <laughs> Crazy people. You can get cracking for 2022 <laughs> now if you like, but we should have something for everybody today. Lovely, I can't wait. I'll let you finish getting set up and I'll be back with you in just a couple of moments. Okay. Lovely, look forward That's to great. it. So Pete is busy beavering away, just making sure he's got all the final touches before he gives you some amazing demonstrations. Now, I need to tell you we've got a few offers on, as always, on Craft Stash. So that's, if you're in the UK, craftstash.co.uk. If you're over in the States, it's craftstash.us, whichever one is relevant for your part of the world. So we have an offer today where if you are spending over £20, that's all, £20 on the new Chapter 3 collections you you can find them you can go on to brands over at craft stash look under the brands tab you'll find Sizzix and you can actually filter everything from Sizzix down to just see chapter three that makes it easier for you to know what you're looking at uh, if you're spending over 20 pounds you're going to get a free magnetic shim and if you're in the UK over 20 pounds actually qualifies you for free shipping as well so take advantage of that so you're kind of getting a double whammy there aren't you we've also got other offers so at the moment we've had going uh, on the Sizzix machines, that's any Sizzix machines, you can get an additional £5 off of the already fantastic prices just using the code Sizzix5. And then we've also got 10% uh, off of tools. Now there's no um, there's no code for that, that's already applied. If you have a look at the website, we've got discounts all over the show, but Sizzix tools are amazing. Things like the hot uh, heat guns, things like the glue guns as well. The tools for getting all the little bits out of your dye, they're all there and all got 10% off. And they start as low as like two pounds something. So go and check those out. Now, I think we're ready to go to Pete because Pete Pete is the main attraction. He does the most amazing demonstrations. So I think we're going to come straight back to him and let him wow you with what Sizzix Chapter 3 is all about. Please do take it away, Pete. 
Right, well, I've never been described as the main attraction before, so uh, that's absolutely <laughs> fantastic. I like that one. Um, OK, we're going to start off with a lovely, lovely die set. Um, as we go on, I will introduce you to some of the other dies in the collection. But we're starting with one of my favourites, and this is Doodle Christmas. Um, gorgeous, good, really contemporary, really fresh. But what's special about this die set is the fact that we've got these emboss elements within the dies themselves. So that lends them something quite different. And I'm going to show you a very, very simple card. We're also going to bring in some of our stencil film and some of our lovely framelits as well. So let's take now this is our die collection mm -hmm. right and this one is the lovely bunny don't you just love the style of that I, I it's gorgeous it's gorgeous i'm also going to be using the snowflakes for this one and if you've not been introduced to framelits before this is a typical set and we call them framelits for two reasons first of all you can cut different sizes and create a framing device mm -hmm. also if you have a photograph it can frame it perfectly because the blades on the inside so you get absolutely perfect registration with that and what i'm going to do i'm going to use this to cut some stencil film now stencil film was designed to work with distress inks and distress oxides because it's thin because it's smooth there is no drag when you run over the top and that is stencil film you get 10 sheets in the pack but i'm going to pop it to one side mm -hmm. and at this point i shall bring in my machine because i don't want josh to have to follow me around all day <laughs> everybody needs a josh at home you know what i must admit i haven't actually uh, introduced josh we had him here for the last live as well we're getting privileged aren't we um, Absolutely. Josh Caramel, you may uh, have seen him doing lives and such on over on Sizzix before, so please do in the comments. I'll read some comments in a moment, actually. Please, everybody, do say hello to Josh as much as Pete, too. Yeah, please do, please do. Nice um, clean plates there, Pete. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you know what? For you, Lou, I got some fresh plates there. But in truth, oh. I think last time I used some really old plates because I do like to show folks that you know even though they're like a few months old they're still as good as the day they came out of the box they're still usable so you might think oh my plates are old my plates are tatty they're still good to go and they still work as well as on the first day lovely so stencil film we've got a stencil and we've got a mask so you can use them in either way but i'm going to use it to create a background today and i've taken my base card which has got a pre-printed sentiment now to get the stencil to hold down, I'm actually going to use some of this spray mount. This is a... Now, Josh, you don't have to follow me on this. That's fine. But what I've done, I've applied just a little bit of that glue, and it's repositionable. And what that means is it's not going to lift the fibers of my card, and it's going to come away cleanly. So we'll get that circle roughly in the center there. Then I shall take some distressing. Now, I'm using tumbled glass to start with um, very very subtle blue color this and you know what this is quite an old pad so the only pads there comes an optimum time in the life of every distressing pad when it's absolutely perfect this one is probably past that okay but having said that the pad is well used and it's about five years old and we are talking about distress minis here so that's not a bad investment, really. When you when you think about how long that's lasted, how often it gets used, that's pretty good. But at the moment, because it's on its knees, it's giving me a really, really subtle blend. And that's what I'm after today. So let's move from that to shaded lilac. And I'm just going to come in from the top with that. These, are, these distress things... Um, incidentally, my sets, which I have, these minis, they were actually given to me by a chap at a trade show about five years ago who was demonstrating with them mm -hmm. uh, full on for four days. And wow. then he, he uh, as he passed by towards the end of the show, he handed them to me. The, the chap's name was Mr. Tim Holtz. So, <laughs> well, there's a claim and it's thing wonderful. With that. Yeah, he wasn't going to ship them home, so he said, "Will these be any use to you?" I, said, I think I might be able to find oh, some maybe. use. Maybe. <laughs> so there we are. And now you see there that oh, little that's... background. You see the subtlety. We go from shaded lilac down to tumbled glass, an almost 
fading to white. Now that's my background and that's ready to go. Now we're going to cut the bunny and rather than cut it in different colors, which of course you could, we do have some wonderful festive card stock. We have some, uh, and I'll show you that later, we also have a Sizzix color story card stock as well. Um, but I like to start off with white sometimes and uh, apply the color myself. So we're going to put that, I've got it face up, as you'll know. We always recommend with dyes that you cut face up. In truth, with dyes like this, it doesn't really make much of a difference because it's a very subtle, simple dye. It's not complicated in the least. But you do get a nicer cut. And I've spoken to my, uh, our engineers about it in the past, and I can't honestly remember why that works. But as long as it does, I really Fair don't enough. care. <laughs> so let's take, let's take those. Now, you can see the embossed areas in those two die cuts. And here I have the cheeks and the nose. So I'm just going to apply some ink to those because people sometimes when they see dust like this, they say, oh, it's fiddly. But you know what? We do, we do a macrame, yeah. we do a plique, we do all sorts of things in comparison to that. This is so not fiddly. But you know what? We're makers. We're not scared off by fiddly. No. And there we have it now. I've used worn lipstick for the nose and spun sugar for the cheeks. Those are the two colors that I've used. And I'm gonna go back to my tumbled glass because what I wanna do now is just come in from the side. And again, very, very subtle. If you find that your colors are a bit strong, simply move around on the mat like that before coming over to your die okay. cut. Um, and we're coming across and we're just darkening it in on the left there. So we're going from from right to left. So you can see how now this ink is actually, it's not getting into those little grooves. And that's where that lovely emboss comes in. And that's why distress ink, because it shows them up. And I can show you some really good examples of how using this technique really pays dividends. Now, next let's take a little bit of my express glue and put it onto my craft mat thus. Okay. Because I'm gonna take my, my lovely Sizzix tweezers, uh, which I had in the pot, but I can't find them. Thank you, Josh, he's just, see, see what I mean? <laughs> That's when I say we all need Josh because, because we all know when we work, well, as makers, we tend to be a bit on the messy side. I I'm not speaking for you, Lou, but I have my suspicions. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes. <laughs> And we always look for that little die, or that die cut, or that something. And it's usually right there in front of us. It's it. usually That's very obvious, where... isn't it, where it is? We just can't oh, see it. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's right, it's, it's right in the middle of your vision, but we, get, we, we just can't see it for looking. That's where the Joshes of the world come in handy. He does have other uses, of course. He's a very talented designer. <laughs> but for finding tweezers, he's the man. He really is. So there we go. We've got the tweezers. We got the nose. There's the scarf in the um, spirit of here's one I did earlier. I'm going to apply again a little bit of my express glue to that. Mm -hmm. Let's not put it upside down, shall we? Let's put it the right way oh, around. And then I know, isn't it cute? It's so cute. I'm going to take the scissors from my paper sculpting kit, which we are uh, uh, going to be talking about a little bit later. Okay. And we'll turn them over. Or her, and we'll put the back up there using these wonderful Sizzix tweezers. There we are. It's on TV, isn't it? Sorry. There we are. Now, no. okay, let's put in there. Oh, that's so Absolutely cute. Absolutely perfect. And remember, I said we were also going to use some of our um, those wonderful snowflakes. Well, I pre-cut those. And I'm going to actually pop a few onto the card. Um, now, this is all about less is more. Mm -hmm. Because you know what? We could put a diamante in the center. We could have cut them in silver glitter paper or something like that. But I've resisted that. I've resisted that because I want it, I want it to be really, really subtle and really simple. And I think that pays dividends in the end. So let's... 
Let's, Let's look at that cute little, little cut. I love the composition. I really do. Um, but let's take a look at some others using the set. Okay, we've got the gorgeous. warm winter wishes. How about these gorgeous little gingerbread Oh, they look yummy. With their candy, aren't they? Aren't they really? Oh, check it out. Now, I put Sansa, and I called it, I put the, I put the phrase, don't stop believing after the famous song, but it should have been rocking around the Christmas tree when you look at it. It's so animated, <laughs> so quirky, so much fun. Now this final one, let it snow, that lovely bear. Again, what I've done here, these are torn strips of our stencil film. That's how I've created oh, okay. this freeze here. Mm -hmm. um, but I've used the same techniques, I've just torn. But look at his jumper, look at his body at the bottom. Look at how inking has actually left color entirely. Absolutely gorgeous set, and this is only part of the set there's a lot more to go from there wow so is that that sort of embossed detail that's in the die cut does that happen just with running the die through uh when you cut it just absolutely that, that that that's just what the die the impression that the die makes you can use an impressions pad and silicon rubber mat to get that even deeper should you wish but Quite honestly, I like the subtlety of that. It's, uh, it works for me, it works for me every time. And that's just running it through the machine, nothing extra at all. Fantastic, amazing. Thank you so much, Pete. I'm going to read some people's comments out now if you are happy to get set up for another demonstration because I know you've got three. Oh, we'll be ready when you come back. Lovely, thank you ever so much, Pete. Isn't that amazing? So that's like a really, really clean and simple card walking you through from beginning to end and showing you that absolutely anyone can make cards that look as fabulous as that. Now I need to apologise, I think YouTube have got some issues today, we've got some issues streaming to YouTube today. What we will do if you've been trying to watch over on YouTube or if that's your preferred platform, uh, we, will, uh, we will still pick a, com a comment. So there's some people who have been waiting to watch the live stream, don't worry. We are going to pick one of those names and we will send out a prize to you at the end of this hour as we will also pick one from Facebook too but we will be uploading this entire video over on YouTube for those who have missed out so don't worry if you just wait until it'll probably be around about uh, two o'clock by the time it all gets uploaded on there and it'll be free for you to watch then from beginning to end because I know you don't want to miss anything from Pete now talking about people joining us i need to say hello to some people so i'm just over on facebook at the moment we've got lots of people joining us today hello to uh, geraldine kennedy to joan hello to you joan you recently won something i remember uh hello to diane carville hello to cheryl thomas um to jeanette gordon as well let me just scroll down we've had some uh, comments now geraldine geraldine's never seen pete live before so this is a real treat for you um uh, Sarah said, good afternoon, Lou, it's the 18th. Yes, thank you very much. I had 17th in my head, but I thought that didn't quite sound right. That's why I didn't dare say the date, because I'll always get it wrong. Um, hello to Lynn Clifton. She's, look, she's looking forward to this hour. Um, there's lots and lots of you. Um, <laughs> uh, Marie Flav Flavel? or Flavel? I never know how to say your name correctly. I apologise, Marie, but she said she hasn't even thought of Christmas yet. Well, in the craft industry, as Pete said, so many of us start crafting straight after Christmas because it is such a huge job to get everything ready before uh, December because we don't want that last-minute November rush, do we? Uh, and June usually seems the time of year where people start to purchase newer items or start to think about inspiration for their Christmas cards, Christmas gifts, gift bags, tags, and such like as well even wrapping if you go that far um so definitely here is the place for the next few weeks to catch some really lovely christmas inspiration um cheryl said she never starts christmas until christmas she must get more organized yeah i'm there with you thank you so much for all your comments uh one of you from facebook and one of you who are waiting to watch on youtube will be chosen at the end to win a share of 130 pounds worth of Sizzix prizes. Now this is a bundle coming out to each of you that consists of two sets of dies with a Christmas theme plus a Sizzix tool set plus as well some of the surfaces from Sizzix which is the cork sheets which I just think works 
beautifully for a rustic Christmas look. So you're going to get that bundle, two of you, and then another one I will direct you to at the end. So we've got lots of deals on Sizzix. I'll quickly run through them before we go back to Pete. So we have got spend over £20 on the new Chapter 3, which Pete's given you a taste of so far already. Oh, spending over £20, you'll get a free magnetic shim that will just come up. It will pop up in the checkout and you can opt to tick to have that into your basket for nothing. And of course, if you're spending over £20, you'll get the free shipping in the UK anyway. Uh, so definitely build your basket up to that if you can with those Sizzix Chapter 3 products. Uh, we've also got 10% off of Sizzix tools at the moment and we've got an additional 5% off of Sizzix machines that are already at fantastic prices. If you want to take advantage of that, if you've got your eye on any Sizzix machines, now's the time to do it. Just add in the code SIZZIX5 to get that additional £5 off. I think that's everything for now. I'll top up those um, deals and discounts with you in a moment. But we'll just go back to Pete if he's ready. He, I, I just saw he was turned around. So I'll just wait, make sure he's the facing the right way round. Um, Pete, are you okay for us to come back? <laughs> Yes, yes, I am. There we Absolutely. go then. 100% ready. <laughs> Lovely. We're with you again. Thank you so much. Not a problem. That's fine. Um, I'm going to do a quick demo this time, and I feel like it's crafting without a net because there are no fancy inks, nothing like that. It's okay. all about beautiful shapes and beautiful cardstock. And the set that I'm going to be... Before I do, actually, you talked about the opulence. Well, we're going to be using the silver opulence this time and with each of our opulence set you'll see that you get this lovely non-shed fine glitter you get the mirror you get the brushed silver you get a matte silver which is absolutely gorgeous for embossing and you also get this pearl so they're very subtly different but they work beautifully in tandem with each other then if we take that how about we have the same in gold so we have the same five surfaces then everybody's favorite at the moment it seems to be rose gold but you can mix and match these we also have charcoal and we have ivory as well so those are our five sets um so when i say 10 10 of each or five of each i should say in the pack of each one of those different services so that's our opulence and we're also going to be looking at our Sizzix festive color range. Now, this is, this is a gorgeous pack. How about this? How about these for colors? There are 60 different ones. So there are 10 colors, and there are 60 sheets in total. So whether you like a traditional Christmas or a more modern Christmas, there's something for everybody in that set, that lovely pink, this gorgeous, gorgeous green. But those three greens, four greens if you count this one, yeah. working together for all your festive flourishes Beautiful. absolutely gorgeous gorgeous set so let's put those to one side and get on with the demo because the demo that i'm doing today and we can see a lot of those colors coming in mm -hmm. this is festive banners and you're getting all those little dies and this will give you an idea of the size so these are what i call a magic bullet die set because very often you're wondering what to put in your card this is it Lovely. these little flourishes these little embellishments there's so much fine detail in this this will really set off any festive make so i'll just pop it to one side and bring in my machine and i know you said five percent off all machines at the moment yes that, we have right, well this one this one this you can see this is this is well worn there's finger marks all over it this is my big shot and this is the <laughs> one that I, I sort of switch between this and the um fold away but this is the one that I'm using at the moment. And I'm, so I'm going to put some silver opulence there. And I'm also going to cut some red. This is with our bow die. Okay. So let's sandwich those twixt the player. Now, at this point, you can flip them over. If you want to cut them face up, that's another way of doing it so that you don't lose registration. But talking about machines, now, if you're thinking, maybe, maybe you haven't got a die cut machine. Maybe you want to upgrade to a different color or something like that. Mm -hmm. Whatever the reason, you can buy a big shot with confidence because, do you know what? There are over two million of these machines in the hands of makers all over the world. So, wow, it can't be that bad. Can, two no, million, I've got one bigger, sat right behind me now, and I use it all the time. It's my go-to. Oh, that's great to know. That, that's that's great to know because. 
And I, and I hear that a lot. And, you know, people trust it. They, they trust it because it's, um, well, it, it's a mainstay. And I think every manual machine that's come out after the Sizzix, the Sizzix Big Shot has been the benchmark. So you have to make sure that it will do exactly what you want. And, of course, because of the, uh, the gap between the rollers, it means you can cut bigs as well. And um, bigs dies, they will cut felt, they will cut fabric, they will mm -hmm. cut mat board, they will cut multiples of any one die shape as well. So, you know, you have that built in. So you're kind of future proof. But if you are into any of your soft crafts, obviously big size, their ability to cut those different materials is absolutely first rate. Now, we've got the brushed steel there. We've My also favorite. got a lovely bow the, out of the, the brushed... red card from from the cardstock all the brushed uh, metal looks are absolutely my favorite they just have something a little more elegant than the full-on mirror i think they do personal opinion they do they, they, they do and that's why i i, I do add a lot I, I use the mirror sometimes when i'm doing embossing the mat strangely enough the way that mat acts under the pressure of an embossing folder is incredible mm. the matte silver it, i love it but what i'm doing here we talked about the tools as well i'm using tools from my paper sculpting kit now you also get these wonderful tweezers they're the ones that grip and you don't need to let go i'm not sure if there's a technical term for them um but they're really cool that's all i need to know there's also a little pair of scissors which comes with this kit and um I reached over this side. And there is another one of, of these tools as well. Lovely. You also get this little mat. This is what we call a leaf mat. Because mm -hmm. if you want to get a crease in something, you can use this tool with the curved point to crease ah. down the center of a leaf or something like that. Great little mat. Obviously, you couldn't do it on this because there's too much give. But for sculpting uh, paper florals, mm -hmm. this is a great tool set. So let's put those to one side. And you'll see that I've pre-cut some of these from simple the glitter card and it is non-shed uh, as most glitter card mm -hmm. is in truth these days but it's wonderful because i don't know if you remember going back in the day before the non-shed you cut this glitter card <laughs> and you would be absolutely covered from head to toe as would your craft room as would your plates and your everything. dog <laughs> and the dog and you know do you know funny story I was working at the uh, Hobby Craft Show in Birmingham one day, and we were doing rolling workshops, and I was working with glitter car. Oh, and that night, I drove home. I drove to my uncle's, who was having a bonfire in the field adjacent to his house, and I got out of the car, and I was the last one there. And everybody turned around. It was like I'd come from out of space, because in the firelight <laughs> from the bonfire, I was just glistening you all were over. sparkling. It was, it was like an alien landing. Oh, amazing. Right, I know, it was. It was the strange... I always remember that. Um, I pre-printed this one. You can use a stamp, whatever you wish. Now, this lovely, delicate bow. Check out what I'm going to do with this. What I want to do to get some dimension, I'm putting it in the center there, and I'm curving that part of the bow upwards. So I'm rolling it against my thumb, um, like so. And then when I turn it around, the bottom of the bow, I'm actually curving it in the opposite direction, so we're getting that dimension i don't know if you can pick up the gaps gorgeous yeah we can see that perfectly in between there now i'll do i'll do similar on here and again i'll use that just to curl those parts and remember i said this is uh crafting without a net there's nothing fancy here it's just a bit of glue it's choosing the right card stuff mm -hmm. obviously um for the job so I'm going to place that one down there. So they're now Thus. naturally you, curling up, aren't they? Now you've just run the tool over them. That's right. But if, if you want them to sit down a little bit more, you can add you can add some more adhesive. You know, however you want that, that's absolutely fine. But you would be amazed how these survive when when they go um, through the post. They still spring up to a degree, not to this degree, but that's why it's always good to overdo it. And when it gets to the other side. <laughs> you're going to get that you're still going to get your dimension but there's nothing like hand delivering a card especially oh, no. at christmas time i know that we get all the family coming around to mine um on christmas day because well i can do what the heck i like because <laughs> it's actually my birthday as well so is it really i think you, you yeah. may have told me that before actually i, I think yeah the last time we did a christmas show I, yeah. I think i did so 
Uh, Christmas is never far from my mind, in truth, because as soon as we start talking about Christmas, I start to feel a year older. Oh, so, well, you don't I know, look it. I know. Oh, bless you. I didn't even tell you how old I was, but there you go. You, you don't look a year that. older each year, that's what I mean. You're still yeah, young. but the great thing about the great thing about having a birthday on Christmas Day is you don't. It doesn't feel, you know, when you get older, you don't have that lonely feeling of being. It's my birthday, and everybody's going about their business. You you go into work on a wet February. It's your birthday, and nobody else cares. Well, They're just it's just another day for them. I suppose for me, you'll always have the day off, won't you? You'll never have to work on your birthday. Always have the day off, and <laughs> that is worth oh, it. Oh wow! Off. But look at that. I mean, how simple, how quick, how elegant but was stunning. that? Stunning. If we take a look now, remember the festive cardstock that I showed mm -hmm. you earlier. How about that? So it's a different, it's a different eyes from the set, different bow, different look. But the lovely festive cardstock. Then we'll bring this one in again. We've just gone with cream and that that lovely sort of pale mint color, a darker red for the berries mm -hmm. to contrast that lovely mint. And then finally, how about just pale blue and ivory. Oh, look at that. You, you don't amazing. need, it doesn't need anything fancy. It doesn't need your inks. It doesn't, it doesn't need anything else because all the hard work is done for you in the design of the dies. And I'm sure you'll agree it's a gorgeous, gorgeous set and one that you will return to time and time again. Absolutely. Do you know you what, and that Pete? means value for money. I can see these foliage dies being used way beyond Christmas for any time of year oh. if you use the right colours with them and the other embellishments and such. Oh yeah, they could be. If we use spring colours, it's spring. Mm -hmm. If we use summer colours, it's summer. How about using oranges and browns? It could be autumnal. Absolutely. Um, it doesn't just restrict you to Christmas, obviously. So there you go. Fantastic. Can I just ask you one question from a viewer before I come back and just recap these offers, Pete? Um, sure. So Anne Golden has said, um, which Sizzix machine would you recommend for a complete beginner? Uh, for a complete novice, um, I would recommend the Big Shot. Uh, yeah. The Big Shot is its one of those machines. It will follow you on your journey. Because when you're a beginner, you want to you want to future proof yourself. Basically, we do have a nine inch machine, which is the Big Shot Plus. Mm -hmm. You could go for that one as well if you think at some point you may be using bigger dies. Um, but my go to for ninety nine point nine percent of my uh, making with dies and embossing folders, I choose the Big Shot. The, now the fold away is a similar. Let's see if I've actually oh. Do you know what? I've actually got one under here, Lucy. Oh, <laughs> that's handy. This is the fold away. It's, it's a big shot, except it's a space saver. Mm -hmm. So the handle falls down, as do the wings. They clip in, and it's ready to go. It's the same as our beloved big shot. It's just more of a space saving option. Then it clips away. We click the handle into place, and you're off and running. Fantastic. So that is the fold away. Um, it's just about personal preference, really. Um, but my big shot it's been with me i was i was actually at the launch of the big shot so we go back a long way and that's that's why i still love it <laughs> lovely as do i thank you pete um yep. you're okay with one more demonstration aren't you oh yeah you're amazing yes indeed yeah. i will yeah. We're be gonna have some fun oh, with embossing lovely i'll be back within just two minutes thank you that's so inspiring it, it, pete has this way of just making me want to craft now like whatever he shows i want to just go and do it straight away i want to uh, get my inks out and do that beautiful masks masked um sort of splending that he did at the beginning and then i want to go and do some really simple elegant clean and simple cards as well i know what i'm doing this afternoon anyway are any of you crafting right now we've got lots of comments coming through um we've got uh, Sharon Ling says she's on the naughty step from shopping. <laughs> sorry, but not sorry, Sharon. I hope you enjoy whatever you are buying. Um, Karen Miles said it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, she says she always makes her cards so complicated. I hear you there. It's so easy to think you'll just add a little bit more, just a little bit more. But Pete is showing us how you can really simplify your cards for stunning results. Now, I just need to let you know that Craft Stash has thousands of products coming in, new products all the time. 
time. Whenever you go on there, there's always new brands, new products that you haven't seen before. And we are expanding the ranges. We are now starting to provide you with more and more art supplies. So whether that is your drawing or your hand lettering, whether that is your painting and things like that, you may have seen as well, we've had some soft craft items uploaded recently available for you to purchase. Now, looking at art supplies, we've got a new brand with, as you may have seen them over the last day or so, and that's Edding. I love Edding pens. We are talking about using Edding pens for writing on things like glass, on ceramic, on porcelain, on uh, metal, on wood. If you want to do your home decor items, maybe you want to be upcycling and things like that, Edding pens are the way to go. So go and check those out. And the watercolour pens that they have work really well, coincidentally, with our deal of the day. Now, I always shout about this product a lot. For the last 12, 16 months, 18 months, I don't know what half a year is, I've been shouting about this product for you because we've got it on Craft Stash and I adore it. I'm topping up all the time. In fact, I'm just wondering, it's just behind me here, this purple pad. It's the gold line watercolour paper, okay? Uh, that is our deal of the day today and there is a huge saving on it. If you want to know about all of the offers we've got running on Craft Stash, such as our deal of the day, it's well worth you popping on and having a look at the website. On the home page, we have a banner at the top of the page and that changes every day and that tells you all the offers for the day, along with any codes that you might need and such like and how much you're saving. So I recommend that you A, sign up to Craft Stash emails and B, pop on first thing in the morning and have a look at those, but also click on the new products page. Things like your chapter three from Scissors are all going to be under the new products page and you're going to be able to see everything before those emails even get to you in the morning. So it's the quickest way of keeping on top, particularly if you're waiting for something to come in. Um, so everyone who's commenting is going to win a share of 130 pounds worth of Sizzix products. So we're going to split that between three of you. We are going to choose one from YouTube. Apologies, YouTube wasn't working as well as we'd like today. We will upload that video afterwards if you've come over and joined us from there. But we're still going to pick a name from the people who are waiting and commenting to see the video because we appreciate you joining us every Friday as you do. And we'll pick a winner from Facebook as well. You've got just minutes really now to get your name in. All we're asking is that you comment on the stream here on the live stream and I'll give you another chance to win afterwards. Um, I think we need to go back to Pete because we have got not very long left. Are you ready, Pete? Are you good for us to come back? I'm good to go. He's good. Lovely. Thank you so much. I'll let you take it away because I've just done lots and lots of talking. <laughs> not a problem. Not a problem. Okay, we're going to be embossing. As I said, we're going to be using a lovely embossing folder called Christmas Tree Pattern. And rather unsurprisingly, it's the pattern of Christmas trees. <laughs> We've also got one called Holly. I'll introduce you to that one later. But I just want to say, Lou, I love adding products. I ah, love adding pens. I, I do. It was, as soon as you said that name, it's like one of those benchmark uh, brands. So anyway, I digress. They're fantastic. Yes. I don't work for adding. I work for Sizzix, and this is what we're talking about today. So let's take a look. Well, first and foremost, I've used a framelit die to cut the triangle. You can cut your own triangle, that's absolutely fine. It's probably one of the simplest shapes to cut. Anyway, but before I emboss, I'm gonna spritz with water. So I'm just gonna take it off to one side mm -hmm. and I'm gonna spritz forward and back. Now, what that does is with card like this, it allows the fibers to stretch. And when they stretch, when you put it, rather, when you put it in a 3D embossing folder, when they stretch like that, it gives you a deeper, crisper, cleaner, more defined emboss. And that is very, very important. And some cardstock, when they go through a 3D folder, the fibers will tear. That's the last thing you need. And that's not to do with the folder. It's more to do with the cardstock itself. But if you spritz it, what you'll find is that the problem goes away. Miraculously. Okay. Now, with, for a 3D folder, obviously, I'm just using one plate and I've also taken the die adapter out of my platform. And that's the only difference. So there we go. Now let's put my machine to one side and bring in this folder. And look at that. There we have it. Really cute, funky, contemporary Christmas trees going on there. Beautiful. You could use it like that. It's wonderful out of that opulent cardstock as well. But we're going to bring that to life 
with some distressings. And you can see this is my tin of greens. So you can choose you can choose any three of those and I've done that and put them to one side. And I'm gonna start off with twisted citron because I always like to start with the lightest color of the three. Now with this one I'm going in quite deep. But you can see already that it's helping to define those embossed areas. The in-between is lighter. Where I go over the embossed detail, it's becoming darker. So it's giving it definition. But what I want to do is flood this with this lovely uh, green color or twisted citron. He always comes up with the most marvelous names for these distress links, doesn't he? Oh, amazing. And I like playing the game where is it a distress colour? Where you say a, somebody tells you these words and you have to say whether it's actually a distress colour or a made up name. I usually ace that, to be fair. That's probably like my oh, party that, trick. <laughs> that, that, would be, that would be a fun game. Or, or even coming up with colours because you know it's a whole science. I mean, if I'm not, I'm not an expert with lipstick and blusher and things like that. But <laughs> <I know. laughs> some of the names, I mean, it makes them. You, you almost want to eat it rather than yeah, wear it. It absolutely. sounds just delicious. Um, but it's some incredible names, incredible. And I'm sure somebody's paid an awful lot of money to come up with those names. I'm sure I'm they have. I'd like sure that job, I think. Me too, me too. I don't have the linguistic skills, sadly, <laughs> but there we have it. Now, here you can see, you can see where that uh, where the details popping out. Now I'm going to use mode lawn, which is a darker green. And this time, rather than pressing in, I'm just kind of kissing the surface. Oh. I'm just floating over the top. So the in-between bits are not picking up the color. But can you see the difference in contrast there? Mm, wonderful. Where I'm going over. So it's all about subtlety, this. And it's all about going really gentle. And I found that as I'm going gentler, my voice is going quieter. It is. <laughs> and quieter. And I don't know why that is. But there we have it. So let's go over the top of those. And it's really picking it up. So you've got, it's always so much more interesting when you use a couple of tones than when you use just the one. So that is. Oh, wow. Modal That's amazing. And twisted citron. But next up, we're going to be using Evergreen Bow, which is a very kind of blue green. But this time, I'm concentrating around the edges. Can you see how that, that, that blue green yeah, it's is starting to pick up the detail? It's starting to deepen those edges. And because, because we are obviously time sensitive at the moment, I'm going to show you how this all comes out in the end by going straight to my sample rather than putting this together. But do you know what? I'm there mesmerized we'll watching you. I could watch you all day. So don't hurry yourself if you if you're happier doing it live well, then by all means. Well, let's let's do that then because I do I do I do feel I do feel we cheat people if we don't go from start to finish. <laughs> but it is more about the technique, of course. So there we go. Now there's three colors there. We've got the evergreen bow around the end. We've got the twisted citron which gives us that lovely fresh green in the center and we've got the mowed lawn which picks up the detail. So I'm going to take some of my tape. This is Sizzix foam tape, which of course is double-sided, but it also gives me... Um, how thick is of... that tape, please, Pete? I'm sorry? How thick is the tape you're using? It looks quite it's thick. A, it's about, I would say it's about two mil, one and a half mil. Okay, yeah. So, but the beauty of it is if you want a big strip, great yeah if you just want a little bit you can snip it off the end and that's absolutely fine too so it gives you that flexibility um i'm going to put it here's a base cut and it bears the legend oh christmas tree <laughs> of course now we'll pop that there and then i'll take and i'll put a little bit of foam tape on the back of this lovely star that is from our star framelit set and it's cut from gold opulent card and there we have it and that's it from start to finish very simple beautiful um but just simple classy now how about this is another embossing folder and i oh. want to complain to the people at sizzix because this embossing folder believe it or not is called holly can you see holly there i can't see it but it is called holly well i can see holly berries does that count yeah we can see the <laughs> berries but i'm looking for the shape but anyway that's me that's just me it's how about these two now the same again 
same colors, uh, same blends. But this time what I've done is I've cut the card the same width and then just torn top and bottom mm -hmm. and we've just put them across the center light there. Really straightforward. So uh, you could go, so these are some that I created. You could go kind of vintage oh, with brown. Oh, I the like that How green. about using luster wax? This is Sizzik luster wax. Wow. We've mixed silver gold and rose gold there. Now this is a paint dragging technique where I've actually used a sponge to drag acrylics over the top and it gives you a lovely, lovely feel. How about, there you go. Now this is, of course, uh, alcohol inks. Mm -hmm. So that's embossed and that is debossed. So two very different looks. And this is black um, acrylic, which was painted over the top in a very thin layer and then brushed away with some steel wool. Um, or you can use a scouring pad mm -hmm. as well. And it's kind of a mixed media technique. And then you can add your alcohol inks to that. It's a fantastic effect. So lots of versatility. Oh, not just backgrounds for foregrounds as well you know for die cuts great i love 3d embossing folders and there are none better than these two are absolutely gorgeous they are three of the two in the current in the chapter three range so there you go Lou. fantastic thank you so much for showing us all that um i just have one last job for you if that's okay pete sure. i have uh, messaged over to josh on skype a couple of names i don't know whether he's in a position to see that message, the chat in this video call. The, his eyes, the, the, the panic is, is <laughs> tangible. It's uh, yes. Lappy, uh, Shall I give you I a? Know. I'll give you a minute to see if you can see that message. If not, I can announce them. But it's lovely if you can announce the names for us. Yeah, jo Josh is pressing buttons like a good. So if you if you want to take a minute, and I I absolutely promise you that Josh will have them. Okay, come uh, we'll come back to you in just a moment then. Thank okay. you, Pete. <laughs> it's so funny. We do these test calls with um, Pete and with Josh, and we always we always manage to have an issue. I think it's just something between us, but um, it's it's wonderful that they work together. They'll they'll find them in a moment anyway. Either way, so um, we have got lots of offers on Sizzix today. It's kind of like a Sizzix day, really. So we have got uh, ten percent off of the Sizzix tools which you saw uh, Pete using many of earlier. We've also got £5 off of Sizzix machines using the code Sizzix5 and Pete did a fantastic overview of his favourite machines for you and as I think it was Anne asked about the favourite machine for a beginner so if you are considering a first or a, an additional machine there's your option and get your five pound off while you can for that and then we've got spend over 20 pounds on Sizzix chapter three and you'll find those all in one place over on craft stash you can just go through the brands and you can select the range that you want from the menus there find chapter three spend 20 pounds or pop in 20 pounds into your basket you'll get a free magnetic shim and then you'll also qualify for free uk shipping as well so that's an absolute bargain now i could hear josh saying the name so i know he's got them so are we ready to announce those winners names now pete so the question is, can I remember it? I think I can. The first one was Colourplay from you on YouTube. Yes, well and done. And the second is from Katrina Adams from the Facebook page. Lovely. Thank you so much, Pete, for doing that. It's been an absolute pleasure as always. Oh, yeah. Um, we will see you again. Hopefully it won't be too much long before we get to work together again very, very soon. I say work. I'm hardly working, am I? You're doing all the yes, work. I'm not working, really. <laughs> People go mad and say, that's not work. <laughs> well, kind of. It, we enjoy it either way. Uh, and thank you very much to Josh for the fantastic camera work as well. You it, <laughs> Thank you. We'll see you again very, very soon. Take care and have a lovely weekend. Okay. Thanks a lot. Take, Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. So yes, we have got uh, uh, Karina Adams from Facebook and we've got Colourplay from YouTube. If you're watching, please contact us, send us your postal details and we will get that share of £130 worth of Sizzix prizes out to you.
um, which I always look forward to doing. I love, I love sending those out. There's something really special about that. Uh, please don't forget to join us as well on Tuesday at the new time of 11 a.m. for What's Hot. I'm there at 11 a.m. in the morning and I will give you the latest deals. We'll have an offer for just the day for you. It's always our flash sale for What's Hot now. I love that. I love that saying. I kind of feel like I need a cape when I'm doing the What's Hot show now. Um, we have got a great offer that you're not going to want to miss next week. So that's everything for you. As always, fantastic deals over the weekend. So stay tuned to Craft Stash. Keep popping in and checking up on what the new deals and offers are. And I will see you again next week with the lovely Helen Griffin. She's going to be live with me in the studio showcasing a brand new collection. So I will see you next Friday as well. Have a fantastic weekend, everybody. And I'll see you very soon. Take care.